get out of in a minute. Where you been at? You alright? Yeah, I'm back. Shout cool. out to everybody. What's up, y'all? Y'all know he's one of the best coaches, man. Get with him. ASAP. Yeah. Find the Wolves. It's Saturday morning. Chad and I decided to get up early and make our way to Westlake High School so we could watch Westlake take on Berea Park. We left Danny in the back cave doing what he does best. And then we even popped up at Westlake and, and hollered at Demarion. Wave at the people. <laughs> so we, we, this is our first time seeing Westlake. They got a whole new revamp to the program. They got, they got a new, they got a new coaching staff, which is going to be great for them. They got a new transfer, number zero, Jackie. If you remember her from anything last year, she played, she played at Magnificat and was a beast last year. So I'm excited to see the way that she fits in with this cast, like Ella and Lauren and Lydia, what kind of puzzle piece she just slides to fit in for this squad. Jackie is super aggressive, can handle the ball, can facilitate well, and score well. So I'm excited to see what type of dynamic she brings to them. I think it's gonna be a good one. And then the new coaches staff, the team seems re revamped from the warm-ups that, we, that we're seeing. They look good, they're having fun, and they've been winning a lot of games this year so far. I think they only took one loss so far out of the four games that they played, which is big time for them. And then Berea, Berea Mid Park, we haven't seen Berea Mid Park yet. I heard they graduated a lot of people, but then I'm looking at the roster, they got some freshmen starting on the team, which means that these freshmen can play. But then they also got a lot of juniors and seniors that are coming back. Some might be coming from JV and stuff, so that means they have experience. Whenever you got juniors and seniors that play JV and they slide up to varsity, it's not a big change for them because they've been practicing with that varsity team already. Some schools it makes a difference, some schools it doesn't. But for Berea Mid Park, the way they're warming up, you can tell a lot about a team the way they warm up. I don't think it will make a difference. This is going to be a good one tonight. On the Wolves. <laughs> at the end of the first quarter in favor of Westlake. So Westlake got a whole new new system going on. They got a new coaching staff. They got a new point guard, Jackie, number zero. She came from Magnificat and just her bringing over some aggression, some toughness. Westlake was already good, but I think the new coaching staff has brought life into this team. And then just Jackie, her presence being here too. We're seeing a big difference in this team from last year. They're senior heavy, as you see, they're, they, got, they got Ella still returning from last year. They got Lydia returning from last year. Like they have their main, their main people, Lauren and all, 
their whole cast returning from last year, so they are veterans. They got a senior-driven cast, so they're going to be tough to beat. Now seeing them in person, like, and seeing a couple other teams in the GLC, like Aaliyah Catholic and Lakewood, Westlake is going to be fighting for that championship this year. So we'll see what happens in the second quarter. Alright, 28-24 at the at halftime in favor of Westlake. Look, Bria Midpark just went on this run. They had the game tied at 22 for a second. Let's get let's get some love. Number 55, Reagan Brayton is a freshman and scored 11 points. I mean, she was she was going in there super aggressive. She had three points in the first quarter, so she scored eight during that quarter to kind of put them on that run. She was hitting threes, coming down, pulling up jumpers like. For a freshman to play like that, her upside is huge, huge. And then Emma Arnold, Emma Arnold, the other guard, number 10 for Bridge, scored, scored eight points. But that little duo they got right there, I thought Westlake was going to run with this because the way they cracked it open at first. But Berea Midpart, they are solid. They graduated a lot of people last year, but they got a lot of juniors and seniors on the team again this year. But Westlake, the golden basketball rule, Teams are gonna make runs. You have to withstand the runs, and that's what Westlake did. They they put in enough points to just keep that lead. Look, Jackie, Jackie at that guard number zero, and then Ella. What, what number Ella got on now? I think she got the 33 on. Ella got it. Yeah, number 33. Ella and Jackie zero and 33. Those two at the guard slot are just lethal. Like they can score the ball, and then watch out, man! man you keep throwing your hand in front of the camera. Jackie and Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Ella, man, they can score the ball, but they also facilitate really well. They also facilitate. They look to get people involved in the play first, but then when nothing's happening, they can go in there and be aggressive. That's a that's a great trait to have in your guard. And then when Jackie comes out, Ella can switch over from that combo guard slot and slide into that point guard spot and then just run the show. Like, when you have elite guards like that, like, come on, man, there ain't nothing better. And then you got... Then you got your supporting cast. You got you got Lydia coming coming through. You got Lauren. You got your supporting cast just playing like a, a great role. So when you got your two elite, like your two elite players playing the way that they do, great stuff can happen. It only takes two great guards to impact the game. But when you got two great guards and you got great role players that can hit shots, rebound the ball very well, and they share the ball as well, that that's the recipe for a deadly team like uh Britt. Coaching this Westlake squad, this is her first year coaching here, but she's a veteran coach. I think this is her 10th year overall coaching girls varsity basketball, but she she's big time. Like this team looks different than we've seen them in the past. There's no knock against any other coaches, but just from what I'm seeing right now, they get up and down the floor at a faster tempo. They play elite defense and, you know, the communication that they have between each other is great. So it's going to be a fun second half between both squads. I like this game so far. This is this is a good Saturday game that, like a good reason that I skipped basketball for today.
So the fact that I skipped basketball and this is a good game, I'm happy with it. You approve? I approve. He came to see me. Uh-huh. He came back to Westlake. Yep. And we miss Mr. Lovett. Uh-huh. Because he loved everyone all. You know, it's my dog. He a knucklehead sometimes, but he's still my dog. Ain't that right? Ain't that right. Forty to thirty-two with about a minute and a half left. They got a timeout right now, so we in the third. So I, when Ireland, Rachel, Taylor, and the other Ella number threes, when they get in the game for Westlake, that's that that's that like second unit that they use. That unit is that unit is pretty efficient. That, now that unit right there with Ella, the other Ella number thirty-three running the point, they they move the ball a little bit more. They're they're not as a. Uh, they're not as ISO heavy, which is fine. They got to balance their team with the ISO and the passing. But that second unit is more, more passing the ball, really attacking the glass. Like they, they got a good nucleus to this team. But man, number 55, what's her name again? Grace, or my bad, Reagan. Number 55, Reagan, she is tough. Like just a hard-nosed player. And then number 23 for them, number 23, Lauren Lento. Like she stepped up big time this, this, uh, this quarter. She got nine points to a little Euro and one and stuff. Let's see how the rest of this quarter goes. All right, 40 to 34 at the end of the third. This is a physical, physical game. The refs are letting them play a little bit. Like, we got the new quarter quarter rule changes up here in Ohio, at least for the high schoolers. So it's five five fouls in one quarter instead of the, the seven and the 10. So the seven for the one and one and 10 for the double bonus. And that that helps because they don't have to call all those little ticky-tack fouls to keep the score, the foul count even. So they're just letting them play. They're calling some fouls, and most of the fouls they've been calling are and ones. But nobody's been like able to gain those five fouls and really just be at the free throw line. So. They're letting both teams be aggressive right now. I, I kind of like, I kind of like what's going on right now. It's a good game, and these refs are good. I think because they're tired. Because I've been seeing the same refs refs the past seven games, but it's all right. We love a good physical game where the refs let the players decide. Let's see how this fourth quarter ends up.
55-45 is the final in favor of Westlake. Westlake is tough, man. Berea Mid Park is good, but Westlake is very tough. That guard play and then that post play, like we gotta show love to, to Ireland, Grace, Taylor, Lauren, the other Ella, Lydia. But man, Ella and Jackie, those two at guard are, are lethal, man. I'm telling you, they're both juniors right now. And believe me when I say all this, I know we say a lot of girls can be what level and blah, 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 blah. But if they can, if they can add a little bit more to their game, just like moves, they could be D1 guards. They're D2 guards right now. They should be having offers right now. Coaches, if you haven't seen them play, you need to come watch them play. They should have offers. That's why I tell people, hold off and wait until senior year, towards the end of senior year, to like start signing and stuff. But those two are scholarship players. They should not have to be play paying for college. And they're elite. They make this team, like, adding Jackie to this dynamic gives Ella another partner in crime. It's like, it's like having Superman and Batman on your team. You got two dynamic scorers that like to facilitate, that like to pass the ball, that bring aggression. And then, like I said, when you got post play like, like Ireland down there, who's somebody you can count on, she's rebounding, she's hustling. You got Grace and Taylor that can come off the bench. You got Lauren and the other Ella and Lydia. Like, when you got a complete team like that, like, it is hard to beat a squad when everybody accepts and knows their roles. And they do, they do it so well. Not everybody's gonna be a scorer. But when your scorers are willing passers, that just opens up a whole new game. All you gotta do is be ready to catch the ball and that's it and score. And then just rebound. And then their defense, they are sound. They talk, they communicate, they get back, they get up and pressure you, they do what they need to do. Westlake is fun to watch. Definitely going to watch them again. Definitely gotta watch Berea Mid Park again. But that's it. We got an early one. Now we done for today. Coach Lovett, Chad, Danny, Finding Wolves, Prime Letics. We out.